Everybody in the show, I'm reminded of the great scripture today. This is the day the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And we got a lot to be thankful for, don't we? That's exactly right. If you can't find anything to be thankful for, something's wrong. That's very true. That's very true. God's been so gracious Amen. to us. And we're so happy to have you today. Now, before we get started today, uh, today on the Josh and Ashley show, the special guest is... Josh and Ashley Frank. Oh, my. <laughs> We're, we don't have a special guest today. We're just going to sing because some of you have been writing to us and said, you want to hear Josh and Ashley sing some more? So that's what we're going to do, do today. That. We're going to just sing a bunch. We're going to sing old songs. We're going to sing new songs. Uh, we're going to sing solo songs. We're going to sing also songs. We're just going to sing an uh, alto song. We're, we're going to just sing. sing a bunch of good songs today, and we're going to have a good time doing it, and we want you to enjoy the music that the Lord has created and give to us. And I think you're going to like the music that we sing today. Let's start off with the grand old hymn of the church. It simply tells the story of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tell me the story of Jesus. This story never grows old. Amen. Tell me the story of Jesus. Right on my heart every word Tell me the story most precious Sweetest that ever was heard Tell how the angels in chorus Sang as they welcomed Glory to God in the highest Peace and good tidings to earth Tell me the story of Jesus Right on my heart every word Tell me the story most Sweetest that ever was heard Tell of the cross where they nailed him Writhing with anguish and pain Tell of the grave where they laid him Tell how he lived again Amen. and love in that story so tender clearer than ever I see stay let me weep while you whisper oh love paid the ransom oh Right on my heart every word Tell me the story most precious Sweetest that ever was heard and Glory to God in the highest Peace and good tidings
Thanks again for watching the Josh and Ashley show. You know, today as uh, we take the word of God, I love, I love the scripture. You know, there's something wonderful about the word of God. Yeah, a sweet friend of mine used to say, it goes in cutting and comes out cleansing. Oh, Amen. that is so true. <laughs> yeah. And you know, every time that we open the word of God and we read from this precious book, this is the only book that you can read that it never ends. Yeah. Because every time you open it up, it's alive and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. And it brings life to us and it helps us along life's journey. And I'm so thankful for the word of the Almighty God. We call the Holy Bible. And you know, this world we're living in today, they need to read this book a little amen. more often. Can you say amen, amen to that one? I'm telling you, <laughs> this book right here, it will change hearts and it will change lives because of the message that lies within it. And you know, I was thinking, I, I enjoy reading the great book of Psalms. I like to worship and praise the Lord, and I like to to give him the glory and the honor because he deserves that. And you know, when God created man, uh, we were the highest form of God's creation. Man was the highest form. And when God created us, he created us as a worship being. That's what God wanted from us, simply was to worship him and to trust him and to live accordingly uh, to uh, his plan and his purpose of life. And, uh, of course, we all know that, that that didn't work out. Adam fell in the garden and Eve fell in the garden and, and it brought on this terrible thing called sin. But today, because of God's Son, Jesus Christ, uh, we now can be forgiven. And we now can have an eternal life, an abundant life upon this earth. And every day, God's just working on us and trying to mold us and to make us back into the image that He intended on us to be from the very beginning. And I love to read Psalms because I'm often reminded every time that I read the great book of Psalms how important that it is for us as God's people to praise Him and and worship Him and be reminded of who we are in Christ Jesus. So I just want to read to you one of my favorites of Psalms. And that's Psalms chapter 148. The Bible says that we are to 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in His heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you stars of light. Praise Him, you heavens of heavens and you waters above the earth. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For He commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the depths. And then we go over in the great book of Psalms, chapter 150. And then he says, praise ye the Lord. Praise, he, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the flute and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise Him with stringed instruments. Praise Him with loud cymbals. Praise Him with high sounding cymbals. And then He said, let everything that hath breath to praise ye Amen. the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. And basically, any way you do it. Any way. Praise the Lord. You know, Amen. some people pray and praise the Lord quietly. Mm -hmm. Some people praise the Lord loudly. Some people cry. Some people shout. However you feel in your spirit, however the Lord leads you to praise Him, I want you to know you should praise Him. And some would say, what do we praise Him for? I want to tell you, if nothing else, you should praise Him for who He is. For God, there is none that is above him he created the heavens and the earth he yeah. created you he created me we've got a lot to be thankful Amen. for a lot to praise the Lord for he's been so good to us and I know he's been good to you and while we sing wherever you may be watching right now in your home in your living room maybe you're watching us uh, uh, in a public place maybe you're in a jail cell or a hospital wherever you may be you just slip up your hands and praise the Lord and thank him for he's been so good to us and I have been so blessed and I just want to praise him and I want you to join us let's just worship him let's give him the glory and the honor praise ye the Lord sing honey when he walks among us with all that he does yes. all of his mercy and all of his love if the pen of the writer could write everything even his words could never contain how i have been blessed warmth in the winter and flowers in spring laughter in summer and the changing of leaves there's food on my table, a good place to sleep, clothes on my back and shoes on my feet.
nurtured and raised my brothers and sisters and the memories we've made our pastor to lead us the altar to pray his stripes that can heal his blood that can save place where he hides me it's under his wings he's not just the song he's the reason I many blessings. Listen. I tried it all to give me peace. I left no stone unturned. I wandered far away from God, from the truth that I had heard. My heart was heavy and full of sin. I had no hope and no joy within until I felt Jesus Reached down this time, he brought me out again. He brought me out again, again. He brought me out again. From the wilderness that I was in, he brought me out again. I was lost and so undone. Dying in my sin He reached out his hand And brought me out again Today, friends, if you're saved Man, that's something to thank the Lord for Now there are so many reasons why I love my Savior so He came to die upon the cross To save my old wretched soul He gave me a home, a family and friends But I thank Him most for the moment When I felt the sweet Savior reach down to His hand Thank God He brought me out again
Man, what a wonderful show that it's been today. And I have felt the Lord here. And I hope that you that are watching at home have felt what we have felt in our hearts. Listen, we want to hear from you. Write us today. Uh, put, drop us an email, I guess, is, a, is really not the proper way. You drop it in the mail and you, you uh, send an email, whatever it may be. We just want to hear from you. We just want to know that you're watching the show. Tell us how we can do that. Sure. You can find us on the web, www.joshandashleyfranks.com. Our email. A sign up is there on the yep. home page. There's a place for you to type in your email address. It's absolutely free, and we send you an email every week. Yep. And um, then you can see our itinerary, our products, you can, information about our church. You can also find us on Facebook. Sure. So, yeah, just type in Josh and Ashley, and we should come up somewhere. Go to Google and type in Amen. Josh and Ashley Franks, and we'll pop up YouTube and all those kind of things, and you can keep up with what's going on in the ministry of Josh and Ashley Franks. And again, thank you for watching our show today. It's been a wonderful day. And I just, you know, I just felt good in my spirit. And I thank the Lord because today, the only thing that I can think of as we, as we get ready to close the program is this today. Of all that we do in our worship and our praise, I just simply want the Lord to know that we love him. Mm -hmm. You know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, I think it would be easy to believe that we could never say to him enough how much we love him. Oh, so, so true. So it'd be easy to just not tell him we love him at all. So but he true. longs to hear that from us. Yes, he does. We're just really, like any yeah. good parent does, the father up above longs to have that relationship with his children to say, I love you, Father. I love you, Dad. And you know why we love him? Because he first loved us. And that's a beautiful thought, Thank to know that God would send his only begotten son from heaven down to this old cruel earth that we live in, and he would bleed and die on that old rugged cross. I wonder today, did we mention that we love Jesus? I wonder today, has our program been a light that you can see that Jesus Christ loves us, and we love him, and he loves you, and in return, why don't you love him back? We love you. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you too. of the glory of Jehovah and Paul preached that all is lost save knowing Christ little John said he is precious by leaning on his bosom so full That's all.